Hey, all, I'm Jesse. And I'm Judith. And, and we're, we're the, the Jaunty, Jaunty Jays. We just finished up um, a weekend trip to Lake Livingston State Park in South Texas. And um, we just wanted to share a few of our favorite things about the park and then we'll share some footage um, that we took while we were at the park just um, walking around the trails and different things. So, Jesse, do you want to share one of your favorite things about this park? Yeah, one of my favorite things about the park was how well the uh, the trails were maintained. They were yes. like clearly marked. You didn't get like, we didn't get lost like we did at Lake Brownwood, and, uh, and that and and like the day use the pit there was lots of picnic tables right on the water. You know there was plenty of room. You could get 50, 60 people out there. You got a big family reunion or something. And, and there were several day use places right on the water, so it wasn't just one, you know. So there was there was a lot of a lot of accessibility to the lake. Several boat ramps. Uh, I thought I think that's really nice, you know, especially yes. for people that like water sports and fishing and stuff like that. So, uh, but yeah, that was that was one of my favorite things about yeah. it. Though. I agree. The trails were wonderful. The day use areas were amazing. I loved that. Um, I just lost it. Oh, just the beauty of the park. Like it is a gorgeous park. Of course, we don't have trees like that at home. Uh, so it's nice just to go in and be surrounded by all those gorgeous trees and different plants that we have in our area of Texas. And um, just being by the water is always beautiful. And Lake Livingston does not disappoint in that area. Um, there's there's a lot of good things that we could say about this park, but I think that that's our, our top favorite things. And um, so now we want to show you a little bit of our trip. Yeah, we got quite a few uh, picnic tables and got some good parking spots and stuff. And it's uh, right here by the lake, a really good view of the lake. So that's that's pretty neat. Yeah, here's some more of the day use right here on the water. They got barbecue grills, picnic tables right on the water. It's pretty nice. Looks like there's a little jetty out there you can walk out on. I've seen some bicyclers over there a while ago. And I got boat ramp and I got a tower you can climb. I'm not sure what that's for. Uh, nice docks and stuff. And there's the camp store. And it, it looks like it's very handicap accessible. They got a lot of ramps. Uh, I went down there a second ago. So uh, I think you can even get your wheelchair down there if you need to down to the boat docks or whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. Yeah, there's ramp. It goes all the way down to the steps, so you can get to the park store or down to the dock if you need to with a wheelchair. Got a uh, screened-in fish cleaning station, so you don't have to worry about cats stealing your stuff or bugs while you're trying to uh, clean your catch of the day. Got a uh, really good view of the uh, lake from the observation tower I guess that's what this is <laughs> All right. yep pulling out done with the uh, tearjerkers meetup This is the Briar Loop, so it's A through F, and it looks like they have little tent cabins here. Nice and shaded, you got pretty good parking. Yep, a little tent cabin, got a picnic table, and a, looks like a table with cabinetry in it. That looks fun. Wonder if any are open. Park in there. Oh, I'm gonna turn around. Oh dear. And they're right here by the bathroom, too. 
right at the end of this little loop there's a set of bathrooms so you're not too far from the restrooms if you need it and there's somebody in there okay we are driving in to the activity center um, this is day use area only so it's open until 10 p.m it's right off the lake see what all's in here we haven't been in this part of the park yet well this is where the kayaks are oh nice yeah, yeah this right over there is the park store some nice sites down here these are these are full hookup sites it looks like i can't tell if they have sewer or not i it think they do like they there's do. like a little concrete box at all of them i bet they got sewer So this is the Yapon Loop, it yes. looks like? Yes, Yapon Loop. And these are full hookup sites. And the restroom here does have showers and there's a dump station. Yep, right outside the loop there's a dump station. And a pull-off. There's a pull-off on the other side of the dump station, so I guess if you just need to stop and check your chains and make sure everything's hooked up good. Now this little inner space right here would would be good if you had like a little group. There's three or four of you. They all back Side. up to a center. Seventeen. Yeah. Twenty-one. And I didn't catch the side on the other side over there. So it looks like it's site 15, 17, 21, and 23. And 23. Yep, yep, they all kind of back up to the same little central area. That'd be good if you had three or four of you. That would be great. Yeah, yeah. If you could all get, all get them reserved, I think that might be part of the issue sometimes. <laughs> That's a nice shady spot right next, right behind the bathrooms. Number 33. Yeah, 33. Looks pretty long, too. You probably get a 30 footer in there if you got a Class A. Heading in to Red Oak now. This is sites 38 through 49. It's um, more full, full hookups, and the restroom does have a shower. They really take care of you at this park. Yeah, it is nice that most of the restrooms seem to have showers in them. Mm -hmm. If not all, I haven't checked them all out. And the sites are all nice and flat. Yes. 
And now it looks like fairly new concrete. Mm hmm. And pretty long. Yeah. Most yeah, of them. Yeah, that one, 46, was a little short. But. And some of them that are short are, have wide pads, like this one here. You could, you know, fit something side by side in there. Okay, so stop 49 here on the right is the last one in Red Oak. And then we're heading straight into Piney Shores with sites 50 through 71. Piney Shores um, has some screened shelters. It's got some wheelchair accessible sites, some pool hookups. 52 and 53 are back up right pretty much to the water. So Looks like you got some, maybe has some good fishing right here. Oh, and they got a little seawall over there, so you can walk right along the wall and fish right, right out, right in the water. That's nice. This park is just gorgeous. Yeah, no, this is one of the better parks I've been to. Right here. These sites along here, all back up to the water. Got a good view of the lake from these. I don't know how steep it is down there to the water. I can't see, but pretty high above the water. So might be a little bit of a climb. I don't know, so I don't know if there's a seawall there. Backs up to the cliffs off to the water or what. Yeah, all these right along the water are nice. Like 68's got a little bit of a slope, you'll have to level it front to back. But most of them are pretty darn flat. And we're coming up onto the shelters now here on the right. Yeah. Looks like 70 backs right up to the bathrooms on the other side here. These are pretty These are nice. sweet. And they are handicapped except they got ranch to them. That is nice too. And right on the water. Yeah. Beautiful views. Oh man. Oh, they're shady. Like little, just little cabins in the woods almost. Them back up, they got you got a nice little wide flat area down by the lake. Kids can run around and play. Looks like plenty of parking. Well, there's a cabin down there, right there on the water almost. And this is nice down to here. Dumpster's pretty close. Looks like a covered picnic table down there. That's more day use area, maybe? I think it's more day use area with um, fishing. Okay. Right over there. There's a boat ramp down here. Oh yeah, plenty of parking. Oh, 
Well, that's a cleaning station. That's what's covered. It's a cleaning station for your fish. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. Boat ramp, little fishing dock. This is a nice shaded area down here. Looks like um, this loop is water and electric sites. All um, pretty shaded so far. There's restrooms with showers. Nice. There's a teardrop. They have a canoe. I love canoe. There's the restrooms. Somebody left and didn't put their fire up before they left. That's a no no. Yeah. Everybody definitely make sure your fire is out before you pack up and leave camp. Eighty five gets some morning sun. I'm sorry, that was ninety five. Ninety six is fairly private. You don't have any really close neighbors except for ninety seven, and they're still pretty far away. All right, I think that's all the sites we have moseyed through. Uh, maybe some of the tent camping we didn't get, get by because I really couldn't get back there. <laughs>